My name's uh, John Watts. I'm Professor of Material Science at the University of Surrey. My research interests really involve the nature of surfaces, interfaces, how they act with the, interact with the environment, and how we can actually use our surface analysis methods that we've got established uh, at Surrey to actually optimise the way in which materials interact with uh, various things. So for example, we worry about corrosion, we're interested in how corrosion occurs, but actually knowing how corrosion occurs isn't necessarily that important. What we need to know is how to mitigate against corrosion and how to engineer the problem out of our design process. So really we're working in a, an engineering environment providing surface analysis uh, that informs how we design better products. We, we look at a range of samples, real-world samples, as well as perhaps more practical samples that we design ourselves. So we're, we're looking at sort of both types, both the real-world samples and the, uh, and the much more fundamental research type samples. I would estimate that probably 40 to 50 percent of the analyses we do are what I would regard as straightforward analysis. We have a specimen either from part of our industrial consultancy work or generated by some of the careful experiments that the research group do, which we put into a spectrometer, we do a surface analysis, and that is perhaps where it ends. There is probably 10 to 15% where we're interested in depth profiles, depth profiling through inorganic layers, passive films on steel, passive films on aluminium. Uh, Something that's very important to us and we've been uh, involved in developing over the years and we've been doing it for a long time is angle resolved XPS. So, so we do a certain amount of imaging but it's not a routine um, uh, route forward for us. We're much more interested in the spectroscopy. I think the, the interesting aspect as far as X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy as a technique is concerned, I've personally been involved in it since the mid-1970s. And then it was what might unkindly be called a boffin technique. It was carried out by surface physicists, surface chemists. At one point, we were the only material science group in, in the UK that had an XPS machine. Now, it's very much widely applied in industry. Most universities have an XPS facility. It's become a routine and mature technique. And it plays an important role in solving a lot of materials-based problems and helping our engineering colleagues, let's say, optimise the design of their, um, their components, choose the right material. So I'm personally looking forward to the next 10 years of development and then I'll retire.